Hey guys, today we talk about the Air Jordan 1 High Retro OG in the Golden Harvest colorway. Tune in. Hey guys, welcome to Casa Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe, and if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the Golden Harvest colorway. Man, oh man, these sneakers are dope sauce. Glad to have caught these sneakers right here in my previous video with the fall and October, November, December releases. I stated that these were my number one sneakers that I wanted to cop and thankfully I was able to cop them a little bit early online. But anyways guys, let's get straight into the sneaker review. So on the inside of the sneaker, you'll notice that it has a canvas like material all throughout and there's wheat coloring noted in there with the Nike Air insignia. In addition to that, you'll notice that the tongue of the sneaker is also made of this canvas mesh like material as well and has a debossed Nike Air logo on the top of the tongue. The shoelaces right here are also in the wheat colorway and they're flat laces and they also come with an additional pair of wheat shoelaces that are slightly different. So the whole upper of the sneaker is made in this golden harvest or elemental gold colorway that is made out of a suede material you can see that on the lateral portion of the sneaker the medial portion sneaker and all throughout on the side it has the debossed air jordan insignia there and all in all i really like that they had the suede coloring all on the upper of the sneaker i wish they had gone a little bit further and not been so lazy with the tongue and completed the look by putting suede on the tongue of the sneaker but all in all i still like the sneaker i rocked it all day long while I was at Complex Con and it was a dope sneaker overall to have. Guys, you already know, gum, bottom, midsole, outsole, you cannot go wrong when you see that type of rubber gum material on a sneaker. So sizing wise, this sneaker goes a half size down in my personal opinion, but if you have the opportunity, always, always, always go to your local sneaker boutique or store and try it on. Pricing wise, these sneakers ran 160 bucks retail US and I thought it was a decent bang for buck. But again, my only pet peeve was that they didn't complete the look on the tongue with the suede material. Come on, Jordan Brand, don't be lazy. Casa question of the day, people. What do you think about this sneaker right here, the Air Jordan 1? I know, I know I'm biased when it comes to Air Jordan 1. If I like the material on them, it's probably gonna be an automatic cop for me because that's my favorite Jordan silhouettes. But anyways, guys, let me know down in the comment section what you thought about these sneakers. Will you be copying when the general release happens here in the United States? So my sneaker talk is up for today, guys. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for your boy if I treated you well and gave you some dope information about these AJ1s right here. But I'll see you guys all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.